The white woman has been the only woman we have had an opportunity to study every day of our life. On television, in every magazine we ever picked up, in every newspaper, on every radio, she's been the only model we have had. And if we think that that's not important, then we need to, you know, look at that again. We have studied that and we have made up and came up with requirements that the white people have set for us for our man. And if he cannot come up to those requirements, then we have decided that he is impotent and unable to be our man because he's disqualified, because he does not qualify by the standards that the white people have set up. We think a good, successful relationship is one where everything goes our way. The first time it stops going our way, then we got a serious problem. We want our man to do everything we tell him to do, but we don't want to do anything he tells us to do. They have told us that the only provision that the black man is qualified to give us is one of money. And we have made finance the major uh, focus of our relationships with them. We have made the one thing that most of them don't even have be the criteria. We have been taught that if they do not give us money, that we are not to even allow them to be a father to their child. We have been taught that if he does not give us money, then he is not qualified to tell us what to do. We have been taught that if he does not give us money, that he doesn't have any rights in the home. It's whoever is making the money who has the rights. That's not our system. The black man provides more in a black home than just financial support. He provides direction, guidance, gratification, fulfillment, and discipline for our children.